animation is hands down one of the greatest things to grace this earth. Imagine a world without Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon, Pixar, or even Disney. None of these would exist if it wasn't for animation. Now, we've come a long way since the early boats of Steamboat Willie, and now nearly anyone can animate to some extent with a little bit of practice. Putting this power out there has opened up a whole new generation, if you will, of animators. Many YouTubers like The Odd Ones Out, Jaden Animations, and even 3D animators like Pixel Pit have taken YouTube by storm in recent years. With that said, however, there is always that kid in the group who does things a little differently. Should they be punished? No. They should be treated with the same amount of respect. YouTube is a huge place, and some of these animations have fallen between the cracks a small bit. These are the ones that we're covering today. With a couple of friends of mine, we're going to talk about some of the creepiest and strangest animations on YouTube. Our first entry isn't just one video, but rather an entire channel that seems to focus around 3D animations of disabled women. Some notable titles are Deformed Polo Legs Girl, Disabled Legs 3D, and Disabled Legs Fetish Bar. Now, when I first ran across this channel on the subreddit Deep in the YouTube, I didn't want to believe that it was anything more than a strange abandoned channel. However, if you take a trip into the About page of the channel, we find that it is exactly what I was hoping it wasn't. The website Devotee3D is a site dedicated to a few strange things. 3D animations of disabled or amputee women, women with hairy legs, large butts, and so much more. The large block of text on the front page is Russian. Running it through Google Translate gives us a little more context. I won't recite the whole thing, rather I'll pull the key phrase. The phenomenon of devoteeism is a fairly common phenomenon in society. Devotee find a person with externally expressed physical defects, amputation, paralysis, lameness, underdevelopment, etc. more attractive than healthy. And the girls can be both men and women. As I said at the beginning, I'm in no way bashing anyone for their animation ability or what they decide to animate. I just have to say that this is easily one of the strangest phenomenons I've ever seen. I searched up Alex Jenerofsky on Google, but nothing came back relating to this site or his YouTube channel. Well, our last entry was strange. This one had little to no context. This falls more into the realm of what you would expect to find while searching through the depths of YouTube. A rather sponge-tastic day is a short animation done by a channel by the name of A Crater in Your Mind, and plays out as follows. SpongeBob knocks on Squidward's door. When Squidward comes out, he only has one eye, and asks SpongeBob, in that all-too-familiar text-to-speech tone, what it is he wants now. SpongeBob claims that he has something to show him, and they quickly make it over to the city, where we're met with this scene. I'm just going to give you a minute to take it all in. A short time after they show up, SpongeBob explains that they needed a sacrifice for our Lord and Savior. Squidward tries to put up a fight, but SpongeBob throws him onto the pentagram, and then this, this thing, comes up from the ground. It eats Squidward whole, while he screams out in pain and in fear. Spongebob then claims that he loved him like a woman before he seemingly melts as the video comes to an end. Between the pole dancing Patrick, the seemingly satanic sacrifice, and choppy 3D animation, I believe it's safe to say that this is one of the strangest animations floating around the YouTube space. This channel actually has a handful of other videos as well all of which are just as strange. One of my personal favorites is Woody's Room. I'll play a small snippet of that now.
I looked through a couple of the comments on these videos, and it seems that it was heavily inspired by another animation channel by the name of Cyber8. Family Boy is easily one of the strangest 35 seconds you will ever spend on YouTube. The video was uploaded four years ago by a channel named Adrian Brody. He has a handful of other animations on his channel, however, this one was the strangest to me. In the short time it takes to watch it, you'll be subjected to a crudely drawn Peter Griffin walking about his living room calling out names of friends and family. Not too strange, really, but it's the things that flash across the screen that make this video so off-putting. As it plays out, you will first see a smaller Peter Griffin with a different face appear over the main one for a split second. The face seems to be in pain and looks stretched out and distorted. Secondly, the face of a small child that seems to be crying will shoot out of the middle of the screen, but just like the small Peter Griffin, it's gone within the blink of an eye. Possibly the most disturbing one from the whole video comes next. The video goes black, and then Peter's face pops up for a few frames. However, this time, his mouth is open to show a strange looking top row of teeth, and what I can only assume is blood covering his face. Finally, we're shown a still image of what looks like an office building. I have no explanation for that. Now, this video is one of those that has no real context. Our previous entries seem to have a purpose, or were at least inspired by something. This one just kind of exists. Sure, there are other videos on the channel, but this one is like the black sheep. With that said, the top comment on the video seems to have cracked the code behind this video. YouTuber user Bagelboy shared his insight. Peter oddly seems to call out names, as if he's being told about them by the shallow voices in his head. He is completely unaware of his surroundings, unwillingly not paying attention to the fact that he has no family and lives alone. He stands there for hours, trying to think out the figures he sees in his eyes. All he can do is call out the names of these figures. Peter has these hallucinations every day and night, that his family still exists, when in reality, Quahog is an abandoned wasteland. Peter will never know the truth, that he is mentally insane on the inside. I'm not going to say that this was the animator's original intention, but it's one hell of a theory. Did you really think we'd get through this list without an entry from Japan? Enter Utsu Misumi Sayuri. When translated, we can find that the English titling is Striking Daughter. Now, when I first ran across this one, I had no clue what I'd found. I sat through the entire 3 minute and 25 second video, and instead of just feeling disturbed or creeped out like with the other entries on this list, I instead felt like I was violated. I can't really explain what the hell is going on. I'll play you a small clip and then try to give you an explanation. Please strike me here on my butt. Strike here, strike here and here. Please. So, believe it or not, I was actually able to find some context for this uh, creation. On the website MyAnimeList.com, there's a short synopsis that reads, Sayuri, the creature that you see in the video, is the daughter of a good family. On the day of her strike, they hold a ceremony to celebrate. This was a one-off thing created by someone named Takashi Kimura. From what I can find, this is the only thing he's ever created. I'm not sure if that's a bad thing or a good thing. All I do know is that I'm ready to move on to the next entry. Nothing like a video ruining a nursery rhyme to finish off this video. Similar to previous entries, we're lucky to have a very small amount of context. 
the uploader, someone by the name of John Andrew, explains in the description, as Mary struts her stuff and busts dance moves, her faithful lamb follows behind. While that statement is true, there are a few things wrong with the video itself. Firstly, Mary looks more like a young boy. Now, I'm not saying it is, but it could just be a bad 3D model. But there is one other strange thing about the video. That's the music itself. Sure, it's the song Mary Had a Little Lamb, but it seems slowed down or pitch shifted, giving it a very ominous feel. Something else very off-putting is the constant smile plastered on her face. When she looks at the camera, I actually feel uncomfortable. If you venture down into the description, you can find a link to the animator's site. However, it seems it hasn't been updated in quite some time. This came as a shock to me, seeing as the channel's most recent upload, as of writing this script, was only a day ago. All that video consists of is a cat talking about how he loves to sit by a space heater. Other videos on the channel share a similar feel and overall creepy tone, even though it's most likely not intentional. I want to give a huge thanks to the two awesome creators who helped me out today. Dr. Creepin and Pink Spooky, thank you so much for your help. It was a great honor to work with such talented people. If you all enjoyed listening to them, be sure to check out the end screen as well as the description for links to their channels. They both make top-notch content, and I believe you'll be very happy you checked them out. Thank you for watching, and remember, stay strange, stay safe, and good night.